A cochlear wireless mini microphone can help you to hear better over a distance and in noisy listening situations. While charging, the LED on top of the mini microphone lights red. When fully charged, it lights green with red flashes every two seconds. Before using your mini microphone for the first time, make sure it has been charged for at least three hours even if the light indicates a full charge. To pair your mini microphone with your Nuclear 7 or Canzo 2 sound processor, remove and turn off your sound processor. Then, power on your mini microphone by pressing and holding the on-off button for two seconds until the LED turns green. To begin pairing, gently press the pairing button on the back of the mini microphone using the tip of a pen or similar object. The LED on top of the mini microphone will blink yellow every two seconds for 20 seconds to indicate it is in pairing mode. During these 20 seconds, switch on your sound processor. Your sound processor will briefly flash a blue indicator light to tell you pairing has been successful. When you are ready to use your mini microphone, give it to the person you want to listen to and ask them to position it close to their mouth by placing it on their clothing using the clip on the back. The mini microphone has directional microphones, so must be positioned vertically to point at the speaker's mouth. If you have a mini microphone 2 plus, you can place it on a table to listen to multiple speakers in a group setting. If you have a Canzo 2 sound processor, you can also use the Mini Microphone 2 Plus to access Telecoil for room loop use. You can use the Nuclear Smart App or CR310 remote control to stream audio to your Nuclear 7 or Canzo 2 sound processor. You can also stream audio to your Nuclear 7 sound processor by pressing and holding the sound processor button.